With Christmas being right around the corner, I'm sure that most people who have been following the Summer Wells case are wondering the same thing that I am. Will Christmas mean curtains for Candace? Let's break down the facts. As a mother, I'm beyond disgusted at mothers like Candace Bly and Grandis Harer. Whatever happened to Little Summer Wells, these two mothers know what it was, and Summer's mother is to blame. If I'm Grandis, I'm getting my daughter away from Don before Christmas to prevent everything from coming to a head on Christmas Day. For a few moments here, I'll put myself into Don's shoes. I'm at work on June 15th when I get a panicked call from my wife saying that my daughter had a terrible accident at home and is dead. I need to get home fast to bury her before the police find out and we both go to jail. Felony child endangerment due to the hazardous conditions inside that home. Regardless of what may have caused Summer to fall, like being groggy from booze and pills, the conditions inside that home were the fault of both parents. Some fine mess that Candace got the both of them into. So Don, looking out for Don, buried his child's body, and he's been trying to little or no avail ever since to make his daughter's disappearance look like an abduction. Except not too many people are buying that. I'm including the sheriff here, since this last ground search shows that he is thinking recovery, not rescue mission. I have to think that if local police base their confirmation that Summer made it home alive on June 15th on statements from the oldest Wells boy, that boy knows what happened to his sister. Even if he's refused to say any more, the police must have a good idea that Don was involved with the cover-up. So why aren't they leaning on him to roll on Candace and lead them to Summer's remains? Police have to know about this couple melting down all over YouTube. If Candace did call them about this Molly getting a group of people together to protest on their property, they have to know that the situation is going from bad to worse as Don and Candace head over the edge. What is Don Wells capable of? At this point, probably just about anything. So why isn't Grandis getting her daughter out of there, and why aren't police being proactive by taking steps to head off a disaster? Having none of his children at Christmas may cause Don Wells to vent all of his frustration right at Candace. Now I'd like to hear from you. Do you agree that something very bad could happen once again on Ben Hill Road on Christmas? And if police can't do anything to stop it, Grandis needs to? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video where we'll continue to break down the facts.